As artificial intelligence continues to develop, the World Economic Forum project uh, about nine projects rather about 97 million jobs to be created all as a result of this new technology. San Jose State University led the innovation campus project this week alongside Mission and De Anza colleges and tech leaders in the Bay to establish a pipeline that prepares students entering the workforce of AI. And these new AI classes are targeting middle and high schoolers in the South Bay and it all kicked off on Thursday. Joining us now to break down the event and what this means for education is the Professor Ahmed Hambaba at San Jose State University. Professor, good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, well, tell us about Innovation Campus Project and, uh, and how it all came about. You already said 95 million uh, job is created, going to be more job will be created. So <clears throat> the question comes here, uh, what is the pipeline? I mean, the, what is the pipeline? So we need to really have a pipeline so to making sure that we are fill, filling up those competitive jobs coming along almost every year. So, I mean, we need to really educate uh, students way ahead of time so at least they start have, having an intimacy, what is AI, how to use it, what, what's, what, what the ethics around it as far really good and bad, what, what have you and so on. So, I mean, we we met with uh, some leaders and corporations and also i met with uh, some uh, high school and leaders and so on and we talked really how we go about doing doing um, uh, preparing student and developing a pipeline so um uh, so we came with the idea that we we need to start from middle school they are to start giving them those kind of argument uh, they they will have hands-on playing with AI and explaining the concept of AI and so on to make them more comfortable what AI can lead to how it, AI transform the technology and how um, and also the the job existing now some of them may, may not exist but there will be more creation of jobs that's the thing so there will be more creation of jobs mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> so we, we the whole idea if you expose to them early on. In middle school and high school, they move on to uh, community colleges and the university here. So they, they know what what is all about. They know, so they choose to really uh, be more specialized in AI and machine learning. That's great. Whatever they do, either science, humanity, whatsoever, AI is going to be always there. So yeah. it might as well really like to really have uh, 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 educated them very early, uh, early on so they start really having some ideas and, and some professor I'm, I'm kind of curious don't mean to interrupt but uh, what kind of reaction did you get from those students on thursday are they all in oh yeah, yeah. The, the, the students are very the, the students think they have to expose them yeah yeah really if you don't expose them they they don't know you have to expose them you have to really find the pipeline you have to really let them really know what it does what it doesn't do what because ai it's totally different from what we do in, in education is a different mindset, yes. Yeah, I guess so. It's a brave new world when you can see a two or three year old mastering an iPad, yes. you know, uh, yes. from where yes. we've come. Um, well, let me ask you this. We thought computer chips were a big deal years ago. How big is AI and how do you think it's going to change our lives uh, in the next couple of decades? I think it's going to change a, a lot. Yes, it's going to change because, I mean, AI is going to be immersed in any aspect of our life i mean and also people talking about really um, the transformation what have you yes it will transform but we need to really be on the wagon and try to really catch it where where it's moving because there are only two really main countries it's united, united states and also china they are really investing a lot on ai and ai development and uh, and, uh, and the United States are way ahead on the automation in industry, which is really a, a good thing. Uh, talking about really microchip, yes, this is one of the, the things here because I mean, it's all about storage and computations. Of course, the algorithm, the development innovation around the algorithm, yes, it's really, it's really very important, but it's moving ahead. But the chips, semiconductor are so critical to really compute things within a microsecond, so we don't even wait for it. Uh, can you imagine uh, go, going into the um, nanotechnology or uh, going into the um, 
other technology. I mean, you need, you need very fast and, and high storage and very cheap computation and storage. That's very important here. And Professor, think, uh, just quickly, uh, we, we got to wrap up, but I'm curious, you talked about ethics. Uh, it may create a lot of jobs, but it may also make some jobs obsolete. Uh, we're talking about auto workers that were afraid of AI. Um, are you worried about that? Yes, yes. But the things here is all about really uh, preparing and upskilling those workers. It's, you have to really also, not only in, in middle school and high school and university and community college, also upskilling the one they are existing in the industry. Yes, the, the company, they, they have a duty to do to really train those upskill, to train those workers to be more, to be more versatile or at least they use AI as, as something to help them to do the work. Yes, that's what really is going. How, using AI to really help them do the work more efficiently and more effectively. Well, it, we will uh, tread lightly and see where it takes us, but it is here to stay, AI. It is uh, here to stay, yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, San Jose Professor Ahmed Hambaba, thank you so much, and uh, congratulations on kicking off this program. I think it's great. Thank you for having me. A pleasure.